What else do we have? I mean, not much, really. We've done the two-hour show. I'll be back tomorrow for Sunrise. I'll probably do another segment. I'm not leaving just yet. Uh, I am going to write something about this stream on Saturday. I, I realize there's probably people watching, uh, most of them negative people, uh, who would like me to delve into that uh, further. I'm not really going to too much. Um, I think it's been obvious that I've been drinking uh to excess, though, uh, even outside of any other critiques uh, people have. I did quit drinking for 100 days last year. Um, that came to an end in Las Vegas, Nevada. I didn't make a big deal about it, but uh, also you didn't hear me talking about not drinking anymore or anything like that either, uh, and that's for a reason because uh, I went back to drinking pretty, I wouldn't say heavily, but regularly. Uh, regularly. Uh, Saturday night, I actually talked with, I've talked openly about my drinking problems and substance abuse. It doesn't really bother me um to speak about it um but saturday night uh you know certain communications and stuff had been leaked uh where pantsu had talked about her concerns and stuff just basically the dirtiest she could imagine uh from gator leaking conversations and stuff this all happened before the show so i knew all this stuff was out there um and I mean, I made the conscious decision to start drinking before the show because I really just did not want to go on air uh, sober, to be quite honest with you. Um, I think, you know, and it's kind of hard to, and I did have a conversation with her. She's like, don't get drunk, basically. Um, I was like, no. And, you know, it's kind of hard. I've had a lot of banger shows where I've been completely fucking drunk off my ass. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of the people tut tutting about my drinking uh we're right there telling me to chug chug while these shows were going on many of my most famous and well-received shows uh i'm completely drunk out of my mind uh actually uh by the way black philip i'm sorry i'll replay your super chat i didn't see it if it, it did miss but i thought it replayed anyway i definitely will uh, many of my shows were like that though um and so I mean, it's not, I don't know if it's that big a shock that uh, that I was in that state uh, on Saturday, really. Uh, all that being said, um, and I'll talk about this in the article, I've kind of lived my life, my whole life, just um, uh, kind of in an outlawish manner, not really giving a fuck about living or dying. And uh, I've been open with this, like this is not... Um, I don't think this is revelatory, really, but that's kind of just how uh, I've lived. Just uh, my heroes all mostly live like that, too. Um, but, you know, uh, I do have a, a kid on the way, another kid uh, embroiled in some stuff with that as well. Uh, it is it is slightly irresponsible uh, to continue uh, burning it at both ends the way I have been uh, because eventually you'll, you know, They'll just find me dead one day. Honestly, that's how that's how it goes when you <laughs> when you party like that, right? Uh, for years and decades, and you know you're getting close to your forties, and uh, you know they're just like, well, we found this guy dead in a hotel room or whatever. Uh, and so I'm fully aware of that. Like I'm not um, I'm not an idiot, believe it or not. Uh, so. You know, I'm going to try to make some changes as far as that goes. The only reason I address it here is because people made such a, a big deal out of it. Uh, partially for good reason. I mean, I was pretty fucking uh, slaughtered uh, on Saturday as far as drinks go. Um, and it has become a thing that's basically being used against me as well um, in proceedings, etc. So, I mean, kind of, I just kind of have to clean up my side of the street uh, a little bit uh, as far as that goes and focus on my baby girl who's coming in April, uh, focus on my wedding, uh, which I think I'm going to get married in Dallas, actually, uh, at the Killstream Kingpin uh, event. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, too, although that's not finalized yet. But I'm probably just going to get married there at the event and also live stream it uh, online. That's what I was thinking, but... I'll have more on that later, and I'll talk about this more. I've written a little bit about this, and originally I didn't know how much I'd talk about it here on air, but some people might not read it, right? So even though a lot of people read the other articles, but I, I did want to do a little bit here on air. Kind of talk about my side. Of, without going into the particulars, I might talk about that a little bit more uh, in the article uh, as far as that goes, like what I thought about the discussion and all that, I'm not going to delve into that more here though. Cause it just like dovetails into more, into more bullshit. So 
uh, again, it's been it's been quite a ride. It's been quite um, an onslaught uh, against me. Uh, in some ways, you know, uh, I have some critiques of myself. I talked about one of them there. You know, I'm not uh, I'm not blind uh, to two points made against me. Uh, but also I do think there's a definite double standard, uh, when it goes to this shit I faced, uh, and people have done to me. And then if I do something like that or in that vein, all of a sudden I'm like, you know, Hitler. So I think that that's a fair point. I think some of the stuff I've said in my defense, much of it has been fair, but also, you know, when you're wild and out of control and drunk out of your mind and you're fucking, you know, you're coming off that way. Um, it can be hard to get your side to like um, much traction, basically. So, part of that's part of that's my fault. And uh, I told this story in the article, uh, but the guy I was hanging with in Portugal, one of them, uh, I talked to him at the at the end of the time there. We were at the uh, what is it, Pastis de Belém? They make the famous Belém pastries there right next to the monastery. We were talking. I got this in the post, but uh, he's like, yeah, you know, Ralph, and he'd help me while I was in the hospital and show me all around the city. He was a great guy. And um, he said, uh, you know, I was kind of, and we'd had a great time. We were about to go on the boat ride and everything. And he goes, yeah, you know, I was kind of scared to hang out with you a little bit. I didn't know how this would go. And I was like, yeah, well, really? I was like, why? And he's like, well, you kind of got this reputation as, you know, like this you might just snap on me or like flip out or something. And I was like, <laughs> I was there thinking, I don't remember if I said this out loud or not, but I was like, I was like, this motherfucker, like he's worried that I'm like insane. Uh, and that's how people have portrayed me. And it's not the case at all. Um, I'm very chill actually, uh, in real life. Um, I think sometimes the responses that I've had, which you guys know me, it's, um, if somebody goes at me, I go at them, uh, and I go at them hard. And so, uh, I'm not saying that that's going to change cause it's probably not, but some of my responses, um, just basically have added to my own problems where even if I can justify it and in my view, it is justified, um, or if it isn't right, it doesn't really matter either way. Um, they're not helping me, right? Like, so it doesn't matter whether I can justify it or, um, you know, people think it's good or bad. The fact is it's bad because it's affecting me negatively, basically. Uh, so that's why it's a bad thing, right? Uh, I don't have to take it any deeper than that. So, again, I'll write about it a little bit more, but that, those are kind of my thoughts, uh, keeping it at a certain level because I'm not going to go into it, like the minutia and, you know, specific little points and stuff like that. Cause I really don't have any, any interest in litigating any of that. Um, but what I will say is I'm just going to keep doing the kill stream and tequila sunrise. And that's not going to change. That's another reason I want to do this show tonight with Ramsey Paul, just a regular show. Uh, just kind of by the bugs, having fun. I was glad to see Bibble stop by for a second. And so that's really it. You know, I've been through these before, um, the number one thing uh, that you have to do is just get back to business, ladies and gentlemen. You can you can sit here and talk a lot of shit, uh, and you know do you know say a lot of stuff. But uh, the main thing people want uh, are consistent shows. They want the sunrise. They want the kill stream. They want the guests. They want the events, uh, and that's what I want to. So that's what we're gonna do. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Dolphin. Remember to like and subscribe.